Oh yeah, look, you've got gram positive bacilli. And that causes urinary tract infections. Great. <laughs> yep, the lactobacillus. With microbiology, think of bacteria and viruses and all the nasty things. That's my profession. <laughs> I am not an instructor to sit at the front of the classroom and say, here's the lab, turn it in to me in three hours. I mean, I'm there with the students. I look over their shoulder when they look in the microscope. I'm there whenever they need me for any aspect of the lab. There you go, look. You got it. When he gets into the lab, it's like this little bit of a gleam comes in his eye, like he's got a secret. He's real strict with his students but they don't push back because they know that he's setting a bar high for them so that they can be successful in whatever it is they go on to do. He has started infusing research into his classes, so we're really starting to build the STEM pipeline. I took a week-long course at Yale University that introduced me to research in the classroom, which is where you take your traditional microbiology labs, and then you add a research component to those. I see the light bulb when students are finally able to put various microbiology tests together and say, oh yeah, that's why we did this. And you can kind of see that little flash of light in their eye. And then you're gonna have to sterilize your loop, remember? He just maintains that energy every time. He uses social media regularly to interact with his students, so he really kind of meets them where they are. He's like the little Energizer Bunny. He does the undergraduate research project with our students here. Um, he's active in the community. He works with high school students on science fair projects. Over the years, I've been working with students from 6th grade to 12th grade uh, for their science fair projects anything that requires a lab setting beyond what the high school has, then they'll come here and do all of their research. He's able to make that connection between the faculty and the students, which lead them to trust him, not just to learn the material, but to ask him questions about perhaps their futures. And sometimes he has to have those very hard conversations. The students, they make me feel younger, even though uh, I am the age of some of their grandparents. <laughs> I see myself in the future probably retiring and then returning to the classroom. <laughs> Not having children of my own, these are my children.